Sometimes a witness on the stand will be asked a question, and not only do they not know the answer then, but they can't remember it, and there's nothing that will refresh their recollection. In these instances, we can use past recollection recorded to get the information into evidence. Past recollection recorded is described in Federal Rule 8035, and there are some requirements to be able to use it. First, the witness has to have at some point in the past actually written down the answer to this question that, you're, that is being asked right now. Second, at the time that he wrote it down, he has to have had knowledge of it. And then finally, third, as he's sitting in the courtroom or arbitration and trying to answer the question, he has to not be able to remember it and not be able to have his memory refreshed. So the document is shown to the witness. They give testimony of those three pieces that they can't remember it now, that they did have that information at another time, and they did write it down. And then at that point, the past recollection itself can be read into the record according to Rule 8035. It does not come in as an exhibit, but it can be read into the record and therefore considered as the fact finder. And we can get over that trouble of the forgetful witness. You ask a witness a question, they say they don't remember. It seems like a disaster. It's not. It's easy to get past if you understand what Federal Rule of Evidence 612 allows us to do. It allows us to refresh the recollection of a witness who doesn't remember an answer to a question. And you can refresh that recollection with anything. But often we will we'll use a document. We simply, in some jurisdictions, we might have to mark the document. In others, we don't have to mark it. We show it to the witness and allow them to read it or review it or experience it in some way that makes their memory refreshed. For example, if I have a document, I might show the witness the document, allow them to read it, and then ask, is your memory refreshed now? They say, yes, I remember the answer to the question now. You take it away and then allow them to answer the question as they did before. Interestingly, it doesn't have to be a document that you refresh a recollection of a witness with. It might be fettuccine alfredo that makes them remember what the answer was to that particular question that you're asking. It might be showing them a picture. You can ask them any question that allows their recollection as they're sitting on the stand to be refreshed and allow them to continue to tell the story and the facts to the fact finder.